folks, how are we doing today? Got a notification on Facebook the other day that somebody had some honeybees that they wanted taken out of a barn. And uh, my wife jumped in there and gave them my name, which was fine. And they called me and uh, I went over and looked at them. <clears throat> and it's pretty much going to be an easy job. So uh, we're on our way over there right now to uh, do a cutout. It's about, uh, it's about 36 miles from my house, but free bees, free wax, free honey, it's worth it. So uh, we'll let you watch the video here. When we get there, we'll set the camera up and get what we can until the battery dies, and we'll go from there. All right, we'll catch you on the end of this. Hey, folks. We're in upstate New York today. We got a call the other day on some bees that were in a barn, and uh, we're going to cut them out today. So bear with us. I'll show you where they are. They're right up in this wall. You can see the bees up there. I can't quite reach any higher. But we're gonna see what we gotta do to get them out. Either we gotta get the outside, inside, or a little bit of both. But we'll set you up where you can watch some of it. And we'll see you on the end of this. folks well we're all done we got us uh, three five gallon pails of pretty good honeycomb 
We got a big tote full of wax and we got a nice box of bees out of this cutout. And actually it was really easy. They were in between two studs from the bottom plate to the top plate in between a window. So all the siding was already cut short between the windows. Um, the owner didn't really care because they were going to reside it anyway. So it worked out perfect. Nice, easy um, cutout. So uh, we're going to, in a minute here, um, take them down and set them up for the night for a couple of days to let them kind of get settled in in their new home. And uh, then we'll go do a check and uh, run through them. But anyway, there you go. Hope you enjoyed and uh, like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.